Alert Weather. Hello, hello, hello. Can you hear me, hear me, hear me, hear me? Through the Tetons, Ricola. Yeah, there they are, big mountains, and we've got some cloud cover and not so bright conditions here as we edge into the day. Hey, park rangers, how's it going? <laughs> we've got uh, lots of folks streaming into there today again, and as you head out this morning into Ammon and Idaho Falls, uh, it's going to be about 60 degrees, about 830. We'll have some clouds mixed with sun. Uh, this is our beginning shot on Skycam. It is bright, headed up the High Sea Highway. You can see the clouds that are hanging over our mountain areas and creating some of those showers that are a part of that last system that wisp through here and stirred things up yesterday afternoon. It's 65 degrees at the Idaho Falls International Jet Port, where, yes, we fly everywhere, including there. 66 at Pocatello, and uh, just a slight breeze. The sun will go down tonight late, but the days are getting shorter here as we officially are now in summertime. Average temperatures for this time of the year should be about 10 degrees above where they are this morning. So in the 60s to mid-70s would be the general jump every day around 77 degrees. But we're beginning the morning in the 50s in Jackson. It is 46 in Salmon. It is 65 degrees into uh, Rigby. So here's the front that came through. We have a leftover showers, these casserole showers, and we've activated a lake wind advisory that will be in effect through about 9 o'clock tonight. That's for Bingham County and down around the American Falls Reservoir and uh, just pushing into Aberdeen and over toward Rockland and you get up toward the Blackfoot and into Fort Hall. Uh, 12 mile an hour winds this morning there and gusts beyond that into the 20 mile an hour range, maybe up to 30 with the push of the afternoon and some more energy around here. But it's going to be a clear weekend. Here's the Vipercast. Leftover showers gone by 2 o'clock. You may have a bookend uh, sprinkle here or there from Island Park into parking your car at the lottery place where everybody from Utah goes down there toward the state line. But after that, everything's going to be nice. High pressure gets in here, settles things down, and then we start to build up for more warm temperatures. And we're talking about jumping from the upper 70s to the 90s over the next three days. There's a rambling of, sh of uh, sh clouds there to the south of us, but mainly with winds this afternoon pushing to 30 miles an hour. That's the last hit from any kind of uh, warm energy from that front. Uh, high pressure will settle in and it uh, will dominate. And you put that cone over us and all you got to do is watch it warm up. Uh, any kind of moisture that we get in there would pop a thunderstorm, but it's going to be dry. Uh, 80 degrees for Preston this afternoon, and for Merlad, 75 into Lava. There's the Lake Wind Advisory on the edge of creation there in the desert. It'll be uh, 78 today in Swan Valley. 78 into Dubois and a pair of sixes into Yellowstone. We're going to keep it in the 60s there at Old Faithful and 76 into uh, Salmon for the afternoon, a pair of sevens into Arco. And we're back into the low 80s from Rigby into Pocatello. So you cool down a little bit here into American Falls as you get toward uh, the edge of that wind advisory, and that will last through 9 o'clock tonight. Here's your local news eight day extended forecast for the weekend. We'll cool down a little bit more tomorrow. Uh, as high pressure just kind of uh, assembles and uh, resumes the warming process into Sunday. And then we'll be in the 90s for Monday and Tuesday. I'm thinking we've mistimed this again. It, it really, we really can't seem to get this thing spot on. It, we keep missing it. So maybe we should take a four-day work week and then uh, take Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday off. So we have that ramp up. Can we change it every week? Can we call Frank Vandersloot? He would do that, wouldn't he? I mean, he, he's the richest man. Right? He would make that happen, right? <laughs> I mean, he's got the, he got the qual. I mean, he got the stamp of approval, right? By the way, the clock at Melaleuca is about 15 minutes slow, so that's Melaleuca time. 80 <laughs> in Rexburg, it'll be 76. <laughs> so you get a little extra there. Uh, salmon, 76 for the afternoon. It's going to be about 79 for tomorrow. Closer to 92, 93 degrees in the Monday and Tuesday. In Jackson, it'll be in the mid-70s and breezy around here. But then the warm-up starts. In Pocatello, 84 for today. And we'll be in the lower 90s by Monday and Tuesday. Idaho Falls, there's the sun. 80 and a remnant shower at 77 tomorrow. The breezes cool us down and we'll be in the mid 80s to around 90 degrees for Monday and Tuesday. Warming on up above average temperatures for late June headed to July. Dylan? All right, thank you, Jeff. A new chapter in summer.